Number seven, you're going to find the missing measurement of each figure here. So what we have here for 7A is a trapezoid. Okay, so the area for the trapezoid is defined as area is equal to 1 half base 1 plus base 2 times the height. We have base 1 here, which is 35, base 2 here, which is 25, but that height here is missing. We can plug it into the formula. The area is 750. We have 1 half, base 1 is 35, base 2 here is 25, parentheses H. We have one variable with one unknown, therefore we can solve for it. So let's simplify what is inside that parentheses first, which is 35 plus 25, which becomes 60. Okay, we have a one half times 60 on my right. That simple, I suggest a 30. And now we have 750 is equal to 30H. Divide by 30 from both sides. We get now here, 750 divided by 30 gets you 25 for the H. So that is what the height is. For B, okay. We have the rhombus here. The area for rhombus is going to be one half diagonal one times diagonal two. A lot of people freak out because they don't see the diagonals. This is diagonal one, and then this is diagonal two, okay? But there's something very interesting here about the values that make up the diagonals, all right? Did you know that this diagonal one is actually the same thing as this diagonal two, okay? What I mean by this is that if you see this shape, okay, I'm gonna cut it into two parts for you to see, okay? This is the first part that is just made up, right? Okay, do you see here that this whole thing here is made up of just diagonal two? right then if we cut this part in half you're gonna see how this whole thing is what diagonal one okay here right we will see that notice that the here this is an isosceles right triangle right so these two match up identically so in reality D1 is equal to here D2, okay? So that's just what the diagonals is. So we can just write the diagonal one, we could make diagonal one at X and diagonal two just also X, all right? Doesn't matter. So the area is equal to one half diagonal one, which is X times diagonal two, which is another X, all right, okay? And we know that the area is equal to uh, 137.9, okay? So let's multiply by 2, right, for this to cancel out, okay? And then we get 137.9 times 2 is 275.8 is equal to x. x times x is x squared. Right now, you want to square root both sides. Square root 275.8 is equal to x. 275.8, that gets you x is equal to roughly 16.6. So, diagonal 1 is roughly 16.6, right? And diagonal 2 is also roughly 16.6, right? All right, let's do C. This is a triangle here, so area is one half base times height. We have the height here, which is 16. We have the area, so we're missing the base. So the area is 248, one half. Base is unknown, height is 16. We have one half and 16. That multiplies to just get eight. So eight B is on the right hand side, and 248 is on the left hand side. Divide by eight to both sides, okay? we get b is equal to 31. So there you go, that is the base, all right? So there you go, that is how you solve for the missing um, figure.